in Abita Springs. There. Let's get out of that. <laughs> Man. Yeah, so Margaret, I was telling her earlier, I was excited about going out tonight, and then I went out and it was rainy and cold. Now I just want to stay in. Uh, well, you know, it's going to diminish early in the morning. <laughs> the bright side, right? <laughs> That's right. And the weekend is looking fabulous. Yes, it so is. just go out this weekend. There you go. All right. So I've got to show you. This is the cutest shot. It's from Joseph Lopez. And it shows a little girl waiting. Look, she's got her raincoat already. And then this one from Travers Mackle. You can see the parade tracker, rain or shine. And it was raining. And it's still raining. So we can look at what's happening. Rain along the Mississippi Gulf Coast. It is on the North Shore, but the heaviest activity, Lafourche and Terrebonne Parishes. And this is where we're seeing a little bit of lightning now. Then we can go offshore. Pretty strong storm south of Grand Isle. It's moving to the east. You're going to have strong gusty winds with that one. To the west, another bit of rain. It's moving east, but it's diminishing as it goes. So that's great news. And the culprit and all of this, an upper level low that's just been pumping that moisture moisture on shore and gave us a wet Friday night. Then we can look to the west and what we have is an upper level low off of California. It's moving on shore causing a whole lot of rain and wind and snow. The reason I'm showing you this, it's moving our way and that's going to give us rain chances for late Monday into Tuesday. But we can look at the forecast model and look at that sunshine as we go into the afternoon, but fog in the morning. Be aware of that. As you go into tomorrow night, the weather cooperates. So Adriana, go out tomorrow night. Then we can look at the morning Sunday. We've got fog. Then the sun is going to come out. It's going to shine looking great for your Sunday parades and all of the outdoor activities. So for Saturday parades, partly cloudy and warmer, but fog in the morning. For Saturday night, low to the mid 60s, weather cooperates. Sunday parades, morning fog, and then sunny, then your high temperatures, upper 70s to near 80. Here is a look at tomorrow. That area of disturbed weather moves out. We've got some sunshine in the afternoon. Then we're going into your Sunday. Uh, my concern is that fog in the morning hours. Then the weather totally cooperates. We're we're looking to the west. Here comes the next system. That's the one that's off the coast of California. But here's the deal. It's going to hang out for a while and give us the potential for locally heavy rain and also gusty winds. The concern that should it really linger in the Gulf will continue with that strong onshore flow, which will cause the tides to go up. Look at the rainfall. Galliano, about three quarters of an inch. Hammond, two thirds of an inch. The airport, four tenths. The lakefront, a third and Slidell a quarter of an inch of rain. All of that rain and it caused all of those problems for the parades. The high today only 59 degrees. The clouds moved in early, so did the rain. Other high temperatures generally low 60s, but upper 50s to the low 60s and it's raining right now. 54 at the airport, a light wind. The humidity is high. I am expecting fog. There you can see our temperatures now low to the mid 50s. This visibility three to five miles and you know it's going to be tough driving on the interstate with the rain and everything splashing up so be aware of that there's that fog in the morning with your low temperatures generally low to the mid 50s and your highs climbing into the mid 70s tomorrow i think it's going to be a nice day so as you look at that forecast clouds and fog early then partly cloudy for your sunday fog in the morning monday rain late in the day and that rain looks like it's going to linger into Tuesday, possibly Wednesday as well. I'll keep you posted.